This is the 4.5 metre lap straight cross country built by Enlightened Boating at Caboolture in Queensland. This particular boat is the first of many that have been built since this one hit the water in early 2016. It gets its name from the lap straight hull design which is a series of V's created by overlapping foam planks with the deepest V's along the keel line progressively getting flatter towards the chines. John Hall, the owner of Enlightened Boating, explains why this model of the cross country was developed. I see this boat fitting beautifully into the cross country range. While only four and a half metres, the design gives an internal volume of a five metre boat. And the weight of it at a bit over 200 kilos means a 30 horsepower is doing 27 knots in our sea trials and I can see it comfortably taking a 50 and doing 40 plus knots for tournament boats and things like that. We believe we can bring it in for around 115 kilos as a car topper, which is really only the weight of a 3.7, 3.9 tinny. As a boat, the stability with the flood tank and the unique design I see as a game changer where you're using basically half the horsepower of a normal boat for the same performance. The designer, Gary Dryer, has a long and excellent pedigree in designing and building high-speed racing hulls and boats using composite materials, which requires a sound knowledge of hydrodynamics to achieve the competition-winning performances his boats have achieved. The build process is that after the mould has been polished and prepared with a release agent, the gel coat is sprayed inside the mould and in this boat the colour selected was a very pale blue. A tie layer of chop strand and resin is then applied which adheres to the light blue gel coat. This is followed by what will be the external layers of fibreglass being laid inside the mould and held in place by adhesive spray. The closed cell foam planks and sections arrive at the boatyard pre-cut and are then fitted into the mould. More layers of fibreglass are then laid on top of the foam and the resin feeds are put in place. The boat is now ready for the resin infusion process and a vacuum bag is fitted. The air sucked out of the bag which creates a vacuum. The resin is prepared and connected to the resin feed lines and when everything's ready the clamps holding back the resin are released and the resin infusion process begins. This vacuum bagging infusion ensures even resin distribution throughout the layers of glass and foam and takes about 15 minutes to complete. After a couple of days, so the resin can cure, the hull's removed from the mould and then weighed. It tipped the scales at 82 kilo, which is light for a big volume 4.5 metre boat. From there, the hull went into the layout room and the process of building in the bulkheads, gunnels and foredeck, casting platforms, hatches and open ballast flood tank took place. From the layout room, the next stage is electronics wiring, fit out and engine installation. Following this, the boat's ready for sea trialling and delivery to the owner. You can custom order the layout you want. This one has a large storage area for life jackets, etc., under a big waterproof hatch in the forward casting platform, which also houses my two 100 ampere hour batteries. In the step up to that platform, there's three hatches which open to tackle and spare storage on either side, and a food and drinks chill box in the centre. There's a live bait well come aft anchor locker or chill box under the starboard side of the aft platform with a 45 litre aluminium fuel tank under the port side. Under the centre hatch of the aft platform are fuel filter, live bait and bilge pumps, and mounted on the forward bulkhead are the electrical switches and 3D side scan black box. All these items are to the side and forward of the drained hatch opening and cannot get wet when the boat is washed after use. Seating is flexible and doesn't require pedestals which take up space. It utilises comfortable seats with fold-down backrests mounted on a flat base with sea deck glued to the bottom. Since sea deck is on all the flat surfaces in the boat, this system works really well as when sea deck sits on sea deck, it doesn't move. If fishing alone, the helm seat sits on the starboard side of the aft platform and if one or two friends are joining you, 
You simply put their seats facing aft, which is perfect for trolling, on the step up to the forward platform. For casting, there's a removable casting stool which fits into the forward casting platform. It comes apart and is easily stored under the forward hatch when not needed. Given that this boat is the full trailer boat version with gunnels and full interior fit out and weighs more than the lighter car topper version, a tiller steer 40 horsepower four stroke Suzuki outboard is perfect for it. It jumps out of the hole instantly and gives a top speed of 30 knots if needed and fuel consumption is miserly. Mounted on the port side of the bow, there's a MotorGuide XI5 electric trolling motor with a 54 inch shaft and 55 pounds of thrust. It's interfaced into a Lowrance HDS9 Gen 3 touchscreen sounder plotter with 3D side scan sonar and the interface provides autopilot when using it. The 4.5 metre lap strake ride is very soft quiet and dry, and the boat turns on a dime. It's perfect for river, estuary and dam fishing, and on light wind days for travelling longer distances on open water. The boat's very stable due to its hull shape and an open ballast flood tank in the bottom V, which runs from the transom to the forward bulkhead. When at rest or on the troll, this ballast tank holds 70 litres of water, providing a virtual 70 kilo ballast keel, which slows the action of the boat and makes it less twitchy in chop or roll. When you get on the plane, the water in that ballast tank drains in just under two seconds due to it having an air vent in the forward end, which is situated on the step up to the forward platform. The 4.5 metre lap strake is a very good boat for fishing. It's been designed and set up to be able to easily enjoy casting with soft plastics and other lures and trolling for bass in the dams or flathead in the rivers and estuaries. The boat's incredibly stable, allowing anglers to move about while fighting and releasing fish, which is a huge plus. Totally finished and fitted out with all the bells and whistles and sitting on a custom aluminium Mackay trailer fitted with an electric winch, this boat cost 52,000. Some will say this is expensive for a small boat, but it's not really, as very few people tell you what the final cost is of buying and fitting out a similar sized tinny with all the best stuff. And the softer, quieter ride and lighter weight is where the value is. If you're interested in learning more about the 4.5 metre lap strake or other boats in the cross country range, give John Hall at Enlightened Boating a call. He'll be happy to answer any questions you have.